we just got back from Vegas. But is it still worth a visit in 2023? Let's find out. <laughs> Welcome to day one, Las Vegas. Jet lag is horrendous, 24 hour journey to get here. Minimal sleep, probably about two and a half hours last night. Didn't go to sleep till around 4 a.m. local time, which is around 12 noon UK time. But it's Vegas, we plow through, it's time. At the time of 8.45 a.m., it's time for the pepper mill, the big breakfast. Glorious day, around eight degrees. Let's go get some food. How hungry are you on a scale of 1 to 10? 20. 20? We haven't eaten a meal since when? I'm tired. In about 20 hours. 20 hours since we've eaten a meal. Michelle, what do you think to the size of your pancakes? Small. Small? Look at the size of those. Absolutely outrageous. I remember having these 8 years ago and I could not finish them. I finished about half of them. See how Michelle does. Will she finish? Look at the size of this omelette. Spinach and tomato omelette with a hash brown on the side. Michelle ploughing on. Ploughing on. Demolish that one. What would you give that out of 10, Michelle? Six. Six? Six? I'm giving it a seven. <laughs> Very nice. Massive, massive portions. 57, 58 quid that cost in pounds. $72. Too big for you, wasn't that? But amazing. Right, we did a lot of damage there. We had half not half the omelette each, whole hash brown, a uh, what was the other thing there? Bagel. bagel, bagel with cream cheese. Yes, delicious, and amazing. Four ginger ales. Oh yes, four ginger ales as well. Yeah, yeah pretty nice. Good service. Now it's time for a wander down the strip and walk it off because we are absolutely bloto, but amazing. Let's go. Superb, superb sight. Walking the strip early on the first morning. Don't you think? You see the snow? snow? I don't think you can see the snow. Right, yeah, maybe you can if I zoom in. Snow in the mountains. and Yeah, you can. You can see the snow in the mountains there. Oh. In the distance, right there. Incredible. What a view. What oh, a view. So shortly after breakfast, we entered the Wynn Encore Resort. And I've got to say, it was absolutely stunning in here. Lovely little area here with loads of flowers for spring absolutely immaculate the hotel smelt really good lots of things to see in here really nice time walking around Did our horse win here? The answer is no, never mind. <laughs> when in Rome or when in the Flamingo, you've got to come and see the Flamingo. Not only flamingos, but also water turtles. Look at them, 
look like the toys, but they're real. There's one moving over there, moving its little head. They're amazing, aren't they? What a life, living in the centre of the Flamingo Hotel. Ah, several flamingos and several water turtles. <laughs> so here we are outside Resorts World. Me, me and Michelle have not been to Resorts World before, so we're going to have a look now and see what it's like. Find that big domey thing. Let's have a look inside Resorts World. So we've not been back to Vegas since this was built, so we went to Resorts World, found the giant ball there, of course had to get a picture next to it, or the giant globe, whatever you want to call it. Had a little wander around here, found my own cafe here, doing vegan cones, shakes and sundaes. Nice hotel, but not a lot of character. I did find the Mike Tyson statue, which is quite interesting. And then we went to this little area, famous food, street eats, lots of food in here, everything you can possibly Imagine the like light bites and some big meals, but uh, predominantly light bites and little things. You got teriyaki bowls there. You got rice over there. You got Malaysian. You got Asian fusion. You got Texas barbecue. You got fried chicken. Uh, you got Italian in here. Just about every single type of food you could imagine, and of course, of course, most importantly, desserts. And these cookies were quite something. I also had another little cake. I had to get one of these chocolates. Uh, I think it was called the chocolate bar, but it's some kind of chocolate mousse cake. It was incredible in this little place. What's it like? Out of 10? Nine point five. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. Incredible. Audio went a bit for this, so this was the chocolate fudge cake or chocolate bar, it was amazing. Gave it a 9 out of 10, purely because it was so rich, it was difficult to eat. A model, model of Resorts World. A verdict on Resorts World, Michelle. Nice. Nice, but lacking okay, character. Yeah. Nice, but lacking character, I think that's the, the term. Yeah. Very modern, some nice, bits inside but lacking a bit of character let's go to somewhere that has character in abundance circus circus so we're going rear view uh, entry to uh, circus circus look at that circle or, or around the back rather we're coming the wrong way but look at the roof there falling to pieces this hotel has been up for a long long time circus circus it's one of them horses that, uh, horses hotels that's <laughs> can't speak with this jet lag uh, it's one of them hotels that's that's uh it's been around for so long that, uh, well, yeah, plane right above, yeah, it's a Spirit Airlines, that, bright yellow. Uh, yeah, Circus Circus, one of them hotels that's, that's been around for a long time and uh, it's just it's just unique, very, very unique. It's, it's nostalgic, it's a bit scary with the clown, it's also uh, a bit smelly, but at the same time, magnificent for some reason. Um, and we're going to head there right now to see... Uh, what it's like, because I haven't been there for quite some time. Who finds the clown scary? It's a circus circus. Do you find it scary, Michelle? I find, it, I find that clown remarkably scary. There's the entrance to circus circus. It's time to enter. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a uh, go on the arcades here. Maybe we'll have a gamble. We've already had a gamble and uh, lost so far today, so who knows if we'll continue. Uh, Time to enter. Tony, that's time to go to Circus Circus. See what it's like. Four years after we last visited it, which could have changed quite a bit, is Circus Circus, but probably not. Quite a musty smell, can you say? A Modelo bar. Modelo bar that's not yet opened. Look at that. Absolutely huge. <laughs> circus Circus is exactly as it always was. A bit quirky, a bit smelly, but amazing at the same time. Sahara, 14th floor. This is the view from the room. Very car parky uh, based down there. But in the background you can see the sun coming up and the mountains and the uh, 
resorts world there in the background as well. More mountains over here, but you've got to look carefully through that gap. Yesterday we crashed and burnt and fell asleep at 6.45 in the evening, and it's now roughly 6.45 the following morning. And we are gonna go out there and find some food in what is around seven degrees currently, but it's gonna get much, much hotter in the next couple of days. Carriage to ourselves, full carriage to ourselves and the monorail. On the way to the south of the strip. $13 for a 24 hour pass. Some look out the window. Great views outside the monorail. The wind and the encore right there. And the big ball, the big ball as I call it. Right there, still under construction, the big ball. No. Avenue Cafe, MGM Grand. So here we went for an egg and bacon and cheese sandwich with chips. Well, that's what we have for breakfast there. Plus a bit of fruit there, a bit of fruit with a bit of yogurt. Give you breakfast out of ten. Michelle did not like Greek yogurt, it tasted like cream cheese, according to Michelle. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. The breakfast sandwich is okay. I'd give the breakfast sandwich around a seven. What would you give it? Eight. Eight for Michelle. Cream cheese, what would you give that out of ten? Zero point five. Zero point five. First cash out. Twenty dollars in, fifty dollars out. Finally, we're alive. Oh. A view. 9 a.m., middle of the strip, Mandalay Bay in the background, looks on the background. To our right, New York, New York. We enjoyed our MGM experience this morning. Michelle, do you enjoy your MGM experience? A little win on the roulette, $30. And a breakfast that was okay. Now, time to go and have a look at Excalibur. Entering Excalibur. I can't remember if I, if I, even though this is my sixth visit to Vegas, actually been here before. I can't genuinely cannot remember. Here we are, Excalibur. I, I honestly, honestly can't remember if I've been here before. Probably not. The wheel. It's time to spin the wheel. Here's one. Press the button. Press the button. We're looking for 23. We're looking for 11. We're looking for five. We're looking for diamond or super spin. Come on. Where will it land? Where will it land? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Go on, twenty-three. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Stop, 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 stop. Yes. Yes. Twenty-three. Yes. Six dollars. Yes. Some lovely, lovely spins. Twenty in and 90 out. Today is much, much better than yesterday. Michelle loves the lucky wheel. How much do you love the lucky wheel? Oh. Lots. How many lucky spins do we have there? Loads. Loads and loads of lucky spins. Incredible. Now let's go and cash us out. Now from, from Excalibur, on the walking bridge to the Luxor. What? Oh. Love the Luxor. The uniqueness of this hotel remains and will always remain. Michelle, do you like the Luxor? Hmm? Yeah. You've never been to Luxor? No. Can't believe you've never been to Luxor. You have now. So much money. So much money in the bottom of that little pool of water. A money broom.
Finding smoothie in Vegas. Mm. That's nice though, very nice. Entered Planet Hollywood. Why? Why are we in Planet Hollywood? Why are we in Planet Hollywood? For what? For Earls. For Earl. Earl of Sandwich, the best sandwich on the planet. Let's go find Earls. Oh, there's J Lo. J Lo. Here we are, Earl of Sandwich, the world's greatest hot sandwich. I think so. Look at Michelle's excited face. How excited are you, Michelle, on a scale of 1 to 10? 20. Go on then. Earl of Sandwich. What is it? The tuna melt. And here is a chicken chipotle. Oh, this is so exciting. Go on then. Go on then. Like a long four years. It's a long time since you had that sandwich. Is it good? How good is it? So good. The best sandwich you've had yeah. in your life? Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> what does it give you? Sandwich out of 10? 25. 25 out of 10. And now on to this. A cookie. Come on then, tuck in. It's like Christmas. Yeah, it is like Christmas, isn't it? Earl of Sandwich Christmas. Oh, yeah. Yeah? That's so good. So good. Out of ten. Out of ten. Ten. Now we've come a bit off strip to check out Ellis Island Casino, Hotel and most importantly brewery where you can get some nice four dollar beers four dollar beers let's go Ellis Island to watch Tape Face, a silent comedy, a modern day Charlie Chaplin. Let's see what he's like. Looking forward to it, Michelle? How tired do you feel? We've been on the go all day, we're ploughing through. Harrah's up ahead of us, Tape Face time. Fancy whiskey and coke, what do you fancy? Gin. Gin. Gin for Shelley. So we went to see this guy Tape Face at Harrah's. Thought the show was okay, fairly funny in parts. Very funny in other parts and not so funny in other parts, but worth a watch overall. Silent comedy, pretty surreal, but very different. Obviously couldn't film inside, but that was Tape Face. Good morning and 
5 a.m. on our third day. Just in the room this morning, woke up around 7-ish. We crashed at 9 o'clock last night, crashed at 7 o'clock the previous night. The jet lag is killing us, but by the end of the week, well, if we progress to hours like that, we should be on to all nighters by the end of the week. Good day yesterday. A great, great day. I spent oh, many hours out. We left the, the room around 7 a.m. yesterday morning, got back in at 9 o'clock at night with very little uh, downtime in that day. So it was a great, great day. What I did find was uh, fascinating yesterday was the drinks prices in Harris, actually, particularly where I watched the Tate Man show. $5 for a salsa, which is the uh, seems to be the hot new drink everywhere now. Uh, and then we went to the theatre to watch the show. Fifteen ninety nine in there. Obviously, didn't buy one at that price. Then further uh, in another part of the uh, the casino, in another part of the food court, it was ten ninety nine for the same drink. So the same drink, five dollars, ten ninety nine and fifteen ninety nine, all within a few yards of each other in the same casino. Quite remarkable, really. So you can find reasonably priced drinks, but you got to be on the outlook for them. Right now, anyway, this morning, day three, we're going to go to the win for the buffet brunch there, going to uh, have a big feast and then going to hit the pool, it's going to be around 25 degrees today, much warmer than the previous two days, only got up to about 18, 19 yesterday, going to be about 25 today, so pool weather and then this evening we're going to see potentially about some new show and or maybe going downtown, one of those two things will happen. So on to actual day three now, morning of day three, we went for brunch at the Wynn buffet and this was spectacular quite pricey at $60 but oh my god it was worth it everything you could possibly imagine was on this buffet Asian food Italian food Mexican food carvery all the desserts you could possibly imagine there's a bit of turkey on there this was magnificent let's take a look Michelle, how outrageous is the buffet? Amazing. Outrageous. Got a mixture of fruit and everything. What have you got there? Fruit potatoes. Fruit potatoes. Banana French toast. Banana bread. I've got turkey. Strawberries. Aubergine. <laughs> broccoli. Egg. Bacon. That. Belgian waffle. I could be here for a while. Michelle, what are you on now? Course two. Two. What have we got? Macaroni and cheese. Pizza. Pizza. Potatoes. Some potato things. Mashed potato. I've got for this the crepe, banana crepe, banana Foster's crepe, caramel sauce, top jet with loads of fruit, banana ice cream. Amazing. Oh my god. It's amazing. Oh. That's amazing. Amazing. Cost three. Treats her an egg tossed at Broccoli, um, hash browns, patatas brava style, peppers. Michelle, what are you on? What's that cake? Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake, is it nice? Chocolate chip cookie, churros, schmoz curd, and a creme brulee. Is it nice? Mm. Are you full yet? Yeah. <laughs> Plowing, you've got to plough through. Yeah. Final course, chocolate pancakes with fruit. And uh, yeah, chocolate marshmallow, yeah. Michelle, how are you feeling? Huh? Have you eaten too much? <laughs> Left the buffet. Finest food I've ever experienced anywhere. Same for you, Michelle. Incredible. Incredible. We're both going to have food babies. Absolutely boiling in there. Incredible. Incredible. I'm boiling in there. Incredible food. I'm not. I'm boiling. Incredible. What a meal. Now to find somewhere to perch and and rest while we digest the four courses of insanely good food.
Right here we have Fontaine Blue. Or Fontaine Blue. Meant to open at the end of 2023. Still a little bit of work getting done on it, but looks fairly finished. A little bit of scaffolding there to sort out. Be interested to see what that does. It'll be opposite Circus Circus when it does open. So after that huge, huge brunchy breakfast at the Wynn, we took ourselves to the pool at the Sahara. Look at this gigantic screen so showing all kinds of sports. You've got golf on there, baseball on there, and a little bit of basketball as well. This is magnificent, this. A bit like the Circa poolside, if you've seen that. This is the Sahara. Lovely sunbeds. Lovely little sun trap, free towels of course, towels are quite funky here as well. The pool is really nice, very warm, massively impressed with this poolside at the Sahara, one of the finest I've seen in Vegas. So that is the end of the first part of the Vegas vlog. Couple more parts to go, including a trip down to Fremont Street, downtown Vegas, which was spectacularly crazy, as crazy as I've ever seen it in uh, a number of visits there i've gone every single visit uh, when i've gone to vegas six out of six times i've gone downtown and it was as crazy and as wild as i have ever seen it down there uh, a couple of other things to mention we didn't do too much gambling uh or across the trip the main reason for that is i prefer to try and get money in when you've got an edge and you don't have too much of an edge on the uh, roulette blackjack big wheel whatever on here we did uh, have one winning day i think it was on day two uh, where we won a bit kept spinning uh, our numbers on the big wheel but uh, yeah it wasn't central to our trip central to our trip was all the other things the foods the drinks the eats the shows etc trying different things just people watching and just enjoying the uh, vegas atmosphere which was incredible um, one other thing to mention, this we just seen the Sahara pool. We stayed in the Sahara, seven nights there, really reasonable price. I think it was uh, roughly $700 for seven nights. And I really enjoyed the Sahara. Located down the north end of the strip, right by the stratosphere, just in front of the stratosphere, about a five minute walk from there. Roughly 15 minutes walk from Circus Circus, maybe 20 from Resorts World, 25 to the Win Encore. So a decent location. You're also at the top of the monorail, first stop on the monorail, which goes all the way down the strip to the MGM Grand. That's the final stop. It also stops at the Westgate, the Convention Centre, places like that, and the midway through the strip around the link. And a couple of other stops as well. The monorail costs $5 for one journey single or it costs around $13 for a 24-hour pass. There are also week-long passes and two three-day passes available as well. I really enjoyed the monorail. Runs every eight or nine minutes. Uh, very efficient and pretty quiet as well, even when Vegas is busy. You can usually find a seat on the monorail, which I, I liked. Preferred that to the bus, uh, the deuce that goes down the middle of the strip, although the deuce just go downtown. It goes a lot further along the strip as well. So uh, it's pros and cons. But personally, really enjoyed the uh, monorail. Found it really, uh, really convenient. Weather-wise, well, first couple of days, uh, it's uh, it was quite cool. Eight degrees in the morning, probably maybe eight, uh, 15 in the afternoon. But then, as you can see by the poolside, we've just seen that at the, uh, the Sahara. It was getting warm by that point, getting to the early 20s, and it got hotter and hotter as the week went on. So that's the, as I say, the first couple of days. More to come, two more parts to come. Hope you enjoyed that. And if you've been to race Vegas recently, hope you enjoyed your trip. And if you're due to go soon, I hope you have an amazing trip. So more to come. Total shenanigans downtown to come very soon, plus quite a few other big surprises so catch you all in a bit see you soon